Right, people, before we start, I've had a stinker today. I went to 805, got myself some Egusian powder DM, and accidentally, I answered my phone, a goosey went on my top. I was wearing the brand new Cameroon top. So I've come into the office fuming, and of course, I've replaced it with the Arsenal top. And it's international weekend. But I wanted to rip that Cameroon top because the African Nations Cup is in Cameroon next year. Cameroon are hosting the African Nations Cup, so I want to show respects. So I'm asking, JD, JD, please, next year, can you get me tickets for the first game? So it can be Group A, I don't care. And the semi-final of the African Nations Cup. It doesn't have to be a box, but I, want, I need a ticket. That's a plane ticket, uh, stadium ticket, and, and parking ticket. Let's pay to park in Africa. We're back with Massive L, and this is the part where I get to read my commenters. Big up my L generators. Let's keep it organic. Right, first comment comes from Abdullah El Marmari, or M3 Mari. Four videos taken L. So, Abdul. Last week I tried to do some halal business. I tried to do halal videos. Do it in bits so people can, you know, eat, watch it quickly and move on and do other things. You know, I tried something new because there's no rules. Sometimes you have to try on error. Jenny said, no specs, keep it the same. Well, I said, no, let's try something new. Maybe in about three weeks we'll try something else different as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe three hours long. Titanic style. There's no rules. Next one's from LJ. He had the WWE Universal Championship belt on him and not the Intercontinental belt specs. I don't care what belt he had on his shoulder, whether it was the Intercontinental, whether it was the uh, Universal, whether it was the uh, American, I don't care what, what belt it was, it shouldn't be around his shoulder. You always stick the belt around your waist. Next one's from Michael Ajiman. Please don't bring up Bolt's wedding, it will put the viewers to sleep even though we weren't there. It's true, you know. Like I said to you before, that wedding there, I was fidgeting from the first minute I got there. And there was time added on. I'm talking maybe 11 hours of time added on because his dad wanted to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, but his time was undone. Next one's from Ubaid Ali. Specs, try speaking Afrikaans, one of South Africa's languages. I have to big up South Africa. Right now, South Africa have got me my friends dancing. Big up Ragon Frosty. We are dancing and dancing to South African house. On SoundCloud right now, I've got a mix of just South African house. Steve always even jumped on there, and he's from Kenya, Jamaica. Right, Africans, let's go with El Vif. El Vif goes to Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm sorry, people, I am not a fan. I'm dying for him to retire. I want him to move on, I want him to be a coach. Make room for Salah. Let someone else come in, I'm Philip Ronaldo. He cost 100 zillion euros. And his first four games, he hasn't even scored a goal and Serie A have got Palmer right now. This is an L, I don't care what anyone tells me, Cristiano Ronaldo, you make me L. Cristiano Ronaldo's celebration for me is boring, I don't like it. You know, when he scores an overhead kick and he runs and jumps in there and stops and puts his arms out, I, I'm, I'm more interested in celebrations like uh, Mbappe. You know that, you know when he just chills and crosses off? I like that, that's, that, that's smart. Anyone that's got B.O. that you can see through your TV screen and they try and hide it and they put their hands, every time he, 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 he does this, boom! As soon as that finger touches the armpit, there's the armpit fart. And there's people that do those armpit farts as well, you've got no manners as well. Don't do that stuff. The only Cristiano Ronaldo I am rating today is Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo Jr. That's his name. Yeah, Ronaldo's son. Nine years old, scored four goals in his debut. Lastly, Ronaldo, your statue left Lisbon and apparently it's coming back. Now, for me, a statue is supposed to stay still at all times. From when it's moving, it becomes a robot, then you fool us all. Ronaldo, this L is yours, you can put it with all of your muscles. But you ain't a legend. The original Ronaldo R9, the one that looks like a jumbo jet. Elvir. Elvir goes to Manuel Pellegrini. My good friend Steve O the Madman says 
Pellegrini is the engineer. Now, I don't know what that means, but right now, they need a real engineer for someone to come and take out the manager and replace it with a new manager because he's having a stinker. You're back in the Premier League, you've got Premier League experience, so there's no excuse, but four games played and four defeats, this is not looking good. And the way West Ham are playing as well is terrible. Now let's go through their signings. Yarmolenko, football manager, inside forward, left footed, 186 centimetres, strength, 15 out of 20. That means those guys can't get botched. Felipe Anderson, Afro, Lazio, dribbling 17 out of 20. That means he can't get tackled. Jack Wilshire, Vision, 18 out of 20, natural fitness, 5. That means he can't swim. Issa Diop, Toulouse, 190 centimeters, jumping reach 18. Heading, 17, positioning 5. That means he can play anywhere in the field. Lucas Perez, Arsenal, great finisher. But he's interested in this fish business he's got with his dad. They sell fish, they sell salmon. I'm, I'm not interested. And the biggest L out of all of these new players, this L has a bra on. And that's Carlos Sanchez, former Aston Villa player, Colombian DM, capped for Colombia, played for Colombia in the World Cup. The worst hairstyle, the worst cheekbones, the worst bull winner. This guy wins the ball and loses the ball. He's the best ball loser. Every time I I'm watching Pellegrini, his face is standing in, in front of my screen and he's talking. I put the volume up. I, I'm, I'm looking, why is he crying? What, what happened? Why is Pellegrini crying? The eyes, just, and the face, everything is just dropping down. You know when you're watching those 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 scary films, and you and the zombies get really close, and their face is just it's just it's all, everything's just going down. Listen, West Ham have lost to Bournemouth from Wolves. Obviously, Steve was in Florida when all this was happening, and West Ham's midfield are arguing on the pitch amongst themselves. Serious problems, and if you don't sort this out, as Miles says, or as Miles will say. West Ham will be in Division 2, and Division 2 don't even exist anymore. El Dry. Big up my South Africans, because I'm speaking Afrikaans. Alright, El Dry goes to... Remember, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, make sure you correct me in the comments. And don't shout. Type law. El Dry goes to... Christian Benteke. Christian Benteke, this L is yours. I don't like the back of your head. I feel like if I went to go and slap the back of Benteke's head, I miss. Because it's just, it's just, he hasn't got the wonk, he ain't got the back of it. It's just flat, like he's been leaning on the wall for too long. Three goals. Three goals last season. Three goals, and you're a striker. Glenn Murray is way better than you. And then the guy gets called up for the Belgium squad. Once again, he hasn't even scored this season. He's missing sitters and he pulls out. Oh, I'm injured. Even if you're injured, Bateke, you should stay because you're lucky to be there. Bateke is 27, 11 years younger than Steve O. This is a lie. Bateke, you're the same age as Steve O or maybe a few months older. I'm not having it. Wama Saka and Bateke, I'll give you the light hours. I'm asking Wama Saka a question. He's there with his tools so, Talk! Open your mouth! You got a big chin? Roy Hodgson has said he's thinking of dropping Benteke. But Benteke needs to stop thinking about scoring. Roy Hodgson, with your creased face. What are you talking about? He's a striker, he's dropping to score goals. So what, you want him to think about defending corners? You want him to think about winning free kicks? The guy needs to score goals. He gets £120,000 a week. Investment banker 15th floor on Kenei Wolf. He has to score goals. And finally, Benteke. 
you may have to follow the footsteps of your brother, Jonathan Benteke. I was gonna say Jordan Lukaku, but it's Jonathan Benteke. Got released, wasn't good enough, and now he's at Oldham. And to play at Oldham, you have to be over 30. El Twee! Two in Africans. Right, El Twee is going to. Goalkeepers. Yeah, JD, I'm giving it to goalkeepers. I am disappointed with the level of goalkeeping. I was watching the game the other day. PSG versus Nims. Nims was wearing Barnsley's home top. Why? I don't know. But in that game, Di Maria takes a corner and it goes in the goal. So he scores a corner. Now the Nims goalkeeper doesn't get lobbed from the corner. The ball goes in in front of him. For PSG, they had a goalkeeper called Ariola in that game. And he's Filipino. Philippines have got a goalkeeper who's picked France. I'm fuming. And last but not least, in that game, Buffon <laughs> did all the tactics for PSG and he's a goalkeeper, a legend. This is a bad year for goalkeeping. And speaking of Philippines, Cardiff played Arsenal and lost 3-2. And Cardiff had a goalkeeper in goal called Neil Effridge, who's a Filipino. And Lacazette scored the third goal that really and truly, doesn't matter how hard he hit the ball, the goalkeeper should have saved. Lacazette was told to shoot at Effridge. What? Well, if you shoot at a goalkeeper, a goalkeeper meant to save it. That's what they get paid for. But they can't do that. And in that game, Peter Cech. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Ah, listen. The Brazilian goalkeeper that has his auntie's name. That's British. Mistakes. Trying to do flicks and tricks, all this stuff. Against Inyecho, an African. Pipe took the ball off him. Went in and got their consolation goal. Mr. Courtois, who's moved to Real Madrid, he, he, he himself negotiated that deal. Has gone to La Liga. Has even started, well, started his first game in ages. There's rumors that he won't play in the Champions League. So Courtois having a stinker. Hugo Lloris, how are you drinking Budweiser and you're driving? So now he's gonna catch a van. Listen, people, I'm fed up with these new goalkeepers. And my theory is we need to bring back the great ones, Oliver Kahn, Canazares, Almunia. Almunia, because Almunia tried to be Canazares, yeah. And last but not least, Rui Patricio, goalkeeper of Wolves right now. He's number 11. How can a goalkeeper be number 11? 11 is a winger's number. We all know that. You can't give 11 to a goalkeeper. I know that he can't be number one, and I know it's for a good reason. But number 11 is going too far. L in. It's the main event. Say the best to last. It's the biggest L with the biggest back off. And it's the L that does the most squats. This L goes to Yaya Toure, my uncle. Call him Uncle Yaya. Now, JD, bless me with the opportunity with meeting um, Yaya with Steve-O, it was a great interview. And Yaya came smelling like chips. How can you smell of chips? The guy had wine stains in his pocket. Anyone that pours champagne in a glass and tips the drink in the pocket to save some for later, is born in the bush. Now Yaya's my uncle. And even in that interview, he did something. You know, when he was talking to Steve, he said to me, excuse me, and started talking. That means he did a silent fart. And I only gathered that now. And his nephew 
is his wife for some reason. Because when I said to him, Uncle Yaya, come to my house. He said, yeah, okay, can I bring my wife? And when we looked over, it was his nephew. And I, that is absolute facts. Now, Uncle Yaya told Steve all he's staying in London. His agent said he's staying in London. That's why I invited him to my house. That's why I took his number. He's now moved to Olympiakos. And you know Olympiakos really well if you watch the, the Massive L show. Because we've destroyed that Greek league to many pieces. And did you know that Yaya Toure, before Man City, before Barcelona, before AS Monaco, he was at Olympiakos. So he's rejoining them. So he almost, or we can say he kind of like started his career in Greece. The reception he got was fantastic. So all these guys celebrating for Yaya. Yaya's coming through in the Uber car. All of a sudden, I see this red explosion and this red light. And that's when I realized, you Greeks are not organic like you say you are. We were the first to make this. We were the first to make that. Kane was the first person to come out in big, bright explosion. It's Kane. I don't even think Kane's even been to Greece. Yaya Toure, now you're joining Lupiakos. You're rejoining, I should say. You'll be playing football with a player called Lazarus Christos Umpalumpus. Now there's no rules. So many osses in this team. But Yaya, it's a honeymoon for you. It's a holiday. One of my close friends, Martin Lovejoy, got married in Santorini. Very, very nice place. And uh, you know, I was invited and I was making my way there, but then I bust a U-turn because I've got things to do. So my old generators, are you happy that we've got the long video back again? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. I need to make money. Not that, it's not that I'm going to Cameroon next year, but I want to go and see Uncle Yaya. I want to find out why he calls his nephew his wife. I want to find out why he smells the chips. And I want to find out why is his wife related to him. Let's keep it organic. Any L's you see, make sure you let me know in the comments because there's no rules. <laughs>